good morning. And apparently there aren't any introductions, so I'm told to just get on with it. So good morning, hello, welcome to the first session. My name's Damien Blackton. I'm CEO of Adnologies. We are a German advertising data technology company. And it's quite an unusual presentation title, as you saw. That's the result of a few glasses of wine between me and our CMO. While I was talking about it, it really is the fall of the Roman Empire in the media and the technology industry. And he took me rather literally, and then the next day signed up for this session as the barbarian hordes and all the rest of it. But we do seem to be in the middle of a revolution. When I started in media, it was all about phoning up, negotiating space for HP or BMW or whatever, placing it in a newspaper, and if there was a response, it was done by phone or a coupon. Today, media is traded electronically in real time and so on. And this is, seems to be where we're at. Consumers are accessing the internet, as you know, through multiple devices. There is also massive synchronized viewing, especially between broadcast and tablet. Technology is really beginning to deliver the promise that we've been talking about from a few years ago. We're able to bring together all data, online, offline, on-site, off-site, search, social, mobile, video, display, all of it together. That's a good noise. Um, bring all of it together in order to segment audiences, target people, just the people we want in real time and deliver them personalized messages. And that's great. And it's great for marketers because it means they can tell brand stories, deliver holistic experiences which consumers like, which makes them buy more things, which makes them more loyal, all of these things. And we have built an integrated technology platform. All of the four components that are required to deliver digital media planning and buying in the new environment. Now I know the Lumascape is a very complex arrangement of different companies and all the rest of it, but really to do planning and buying you need four core things. You need a data management platform you see there on the left to bring together all data, on-site, off-site, all of those things, to append third-party data into it, plus then a DSP to activate it, to target people, personalized video, personalized display, and then finally an ad server to do tracking. So planning, buying, creativity, media, tracking, all of the things you need. And we were the first company, and so far only company, to have built all four of those things. But why, why would anyone care about that? Well, they would care if they care about data. Because by integrating all of the things together, you have zero data loss. It means our customers, advertisers, publishers, agencies are able to activate using all of their data. The alternative is putting together the DMP from company A to the, with the DSP of company B and trying to do a deep server to server integration. That still doesn't work. You end up with something like Frankenstein's monster and you can lose 50% of your data, which is what we've seen. Which means if somebody's losing 50% of their data, they're losing 50% of their media value. So it makes a big difference. Whereas we are integrated ground up by design. Our customers are able to action all of their data, which is really useful. It makes their campaigns more effective. And there are operational efficiencies as well. By using one interface instead of four, it means that everything is much more simple, much faster to use, much more reliable. But operational efficiencies are really pretty pointless unless you have capabilities which differentiate you in the market. And we seem to have a few of those. First of all is we track devices rather than tracking via cookies. The reason for that is cookies are compromised. They're an unreliable means of tracking. We all know this, but they are very unreliable. And we found by running a parallel test, by dropping cookies and by tracking with devices, that one in six devices cannot be cookied. That was a study across 10 advertisers, six countries in Europe, you just cannot, get, you cannot place cookies, which means you can't track, which means you get less value. And it doesn't end there. Even if you can place cookies, there is catastrophic cookie decay. In the first 24 hours of advertising cookies being placed, 45% are gone, deleted by software, people clearing their caches, whatever it is, which compromises advertising efficiency again. 
So device-based tracking is way more efficient and effective than cookie-based tracking. And we found that after three weeks, we are able to track three times as many people with devices rather than cookies. So it's more accurate, it's naturally more mobile, and it's more permanent. So all of which makes advertising more effective. So we track people by devices rather than cookies. And we're then able to link multiple devices back to a single user profile, which means uh, marketers can tell brand stories across the devices at the most relevant times to consumers. It also means that we can manage average frequency better. And for those of you who are in media, will know that the better you, you manage your average frequency, the more you can optimize your reach. And that's what counts. So we track the devices, we link them together, and we deliver personalized advertising. We have display that looks good, that is able to suck in different product feeds. It's built in HTML5 so that it can go out on iOS devices, things like that. And we use a series of business rules to target it. So say we were showing an ad to uh, an, a black pair of Adidas trainers. Let's assume that. We can show the ad to somebody a couple of times. If they don't respond, we don't continue to hit them in the face with it and haunt them around the internet. We'll show them the red trainers, other Adidas products, the other $30 products, other things which people like that have bought. We can be much more intelligent and sophisticated with it. And we can apply the same principle to video. We can map individual products into video. And it gets a five times higher response rate on video than it does on display. I can show you the, an example here, as we'll see on this video. And now we're. So you've seen this, the person goes to the website, they look at a pair of shoes. Familiar with it, they look at another pair of shoes, and they look at a very different pair of shoes. And then the new Frühjahrs Collection, so schnell wie nie. Jetzt in allen Deichmann Filialen und auf Deichmann.com. And the shoes are in the video. So you get five times the level of response there. All the impact of broadcast, all the personalization of personalized display. And we're delivering this now for over 1,200 brands on the platform at the time. And you can see from the range there, there's all different ones from some of the largest advertisers through to some of the sexiest over on the left-hand side. And we're managing 275 million profiles every day. So all of those advertisers bring the data together within the data management platform. And the main thing it would, be, it would be great if you could take away today is we're able to turn insights through aggregated data into action. All through our data management platform, activation through the tools. So this is where we are. The full end-to-end -end technology platform. Tracking by devices, doesn't matter which device. Personalized advertising, display and video. So our customers, the publishers, the advertisers, the networks, the agencies, are optimized for the future. Thanks for your time.